Let's do our warm ups. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, knees going towards your second toes, and then straighten them gently. Kneecaps towards your thighs, tighten the front of your thighs, let the back of your legs begin stretching. Shoulders back and down, and keep them away from your ears. If your core active, so ribs towards your spine and up, and just feel that support on your spine and lengthening. And then reach your crown toward the ceiling. Close your eyes, focus inward, find your breath. Exhale, tension. Draw in energy and awareness and keep that focus inward through your practice. Inhale, your arms to shoulder level, stretch out through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows slightly back, chest staying open. Inhale, shoulders down, arms up to the front. And then clasp your hands behind you and lift your heart as you breathe in again. <clears throat> Press the hands toward the floor as you go into that back bend. And then exhale over, lifting the hands toward the ceiling and letting your head drop toward the floor. Spread your toes, straighten things out as much as you need to. Move your head, chin around, with your neck released. Hands toward your head for a little shoulder work. <clears throat> and then bend your knees slightly and wind your way up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and stretch your head back. Keep breathing and lengthening. And don't forget to stretch. As you inhale, come on back up. Release your arms. Take a moment feeling your body's response. And inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Hands to your heart, inhale to the front, shoulders still down, and then clasp your hands behind you. Opposite finger outside, so just shift the other one. And lift your heart into the back bend. Stretch your head back, spread your toes out. Pivot over as you exhale. And again, as deeply as you want into that forward position. Straighten your legs for that stretch on the back. And again, when you're ready, chin slightly in as you wind your way from the bottom of the spine all the way up. And again, upper body down. And stretch your head back, lifting the foot. And then inhale to the top, release your arms. And again, just take a moment and notice your spine. Side stretch. Let's bring both arms out, keep your shoulders down, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp them and clasp. Bring your arms next to your ears, shoulders sitting bones down, and then no twist, lean over to the side. So just let those ribs stretch, push your foot down that you're leaning away from it, out through the top of your head and hips. Keep breathing and lengthening. Inhale back to the top, switch your other hand to the front. Again, pull your arms by your ears, keep everything straight to the front, lean to the other side. And just lengthen out through the head and hands as you push the foot you're leaning away from there. Feel that side stretch open a little more as you move around the body. And then inhale back to the top, keep the shoulders down as you bring your arms back to your side. Feel your body and how it's responding. And then get your spine ready for our twist. So sitting bones and base of the skull stretching upward. Arms again at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows and stretch your spine. Twist to one side as you exhale. Breath in, stretching up, exhale over. And just deepen as far as you want to go into that position. Maybe lift your sitting bones, straighten your knees, relax through the whole back of your body. And then straight on both feet evenly, knees slightly bent, working your way all the way to the top in the twist and into that upper body again through the back foot. 
Always run to one your low back, especially when you chest. Chest high, elbows back, shoulders down. Keep breathing. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms, getting things balanced in your body. Stretch the spine apart again and twist to the other side. Take a breath and exhale over. Just deepen as much as you want into that position and as you relax. Sitting bones up, head down, through your chin. Get the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And again, in the twist, work your way all the way back up. And again, the upper line down. Shoulders down, elbows back, chest up. Take a moment to breathe. Then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up into extended mountain. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, sink into those feet, spread your toes out. Feel your body how grounded it is. And then turn your hands out, swan dive forward, chest leading. And then just drop it around down and pull in a little deeper with your hands behind your legs if you want to get a good stretch on your back. And then feet back to the center, knees slightly bent, and slowly wind your way back up. Shoulders back and down, and again into mountain pose. Just take a moment there, feeling all that circulation through your spine as we forward to the six directions. And then keep stretching out through the base of the spine and the base of the skull as you swing into your windmill twists. So just going one side to the other, following your hands, keeping your head reaching up. Don't forget to breathe. As you get to each end of that circuit, maybe go a little deeper as it gets a little more longer. And then back to the center, spread your toes, shoulders up, back, and down just a couple of times. Step wide. So as wide as you want, we're going to do another twist. So toes straight ahead, hips open, hit those thumbs into that crease at the top of your thigh. And pivot there. Bring your chest forward. Get your body parallel to the feet. Sitting bones and crown reach away from each other, opening those bones so you can twist again. Slide your hands down to your shins. Drop them to the floor, or you can raise your floor with books or blocks if you want. To. Hands under your shoulders that you don't quite reach. So fingertips or palms down, whatever works for you today. We're going to keep the right hand either on your leg or the floor, left arm out to the side, stretch that spine apart, and look at the hand as you bring it up, turning your whole body, hips, wrist, shoulder, turning toward the side into the twist. So keep lengthening, keep breathing. Stay there or go deeper with the right hand going towards your left foot or left shin. And it Right, left hand moving behind you, forward. So your whole body keeps twisting, not just your shoulder, not just your neck. Stretch the sitting bones and crown away. Maximize your twist if you love it. And then bring your hands straight up and down if they aren't. And again, following that hand, bring it back to you before or your legs. So again, stretch the spine, and we're going to twist, of course, to the other side. Left hand stays down, right hand going down. Rotate as you go all the way into that twist, following that hand up. Hips, ribs, shoulder turning toward the side a little bit more. Or even further, if you bring that left hand towards your right foot and that right hand further back above you. So keep turning your whole body, not just your head, not just your arm, but that whole spine working. Keep breathing and lengthening, opening the spine so you can twist more easily. And then again, bring it straight up and down, follow it around and back to the floor. 
Stretch long through your spine. Bring your hands to your shins or legs. And slide, pivoting back up and stepping into mountain pose. As you get back to your standing position, just feel your body. A little bit more stimulation through that whole spine area. Spread your toes. Let's do our balance practice. So find your favorite balance foot. Get the base of the toes down, not the toes themselves. No gripping, remember. Base of the toes and heels evenly. Outside of the foot and inside of that big toe. Oh, pressing down. Knee going toward your second toe. Make sure that that little roll in keeps the ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder lined up. Or activate it. So ribs toward your spine and up, supporting your back. And when you're ready, reaching the crown to the ceiling, bring the other foot up. So a little or more or towards your heart. Don't cross it over, roll it in, and then circle your ankle. Both ways. Keep breathing. Flex and point. And release. Shift to the other side. Find your balance on that second foot. Get it evenly working into the earth or support up through your bones. And again, when everything's stacked and the core is active, bring the other foot up. But again, as far as it wants to go, holding wherever feels comfortable for you as you circle your ankle. Breathing, working the ankle, flex the point. And release. Exhale, tension. Focusing inward, just allow your body sink evenly into your feet. Bring your arms again, shoulder left. Now remember, keep the shoulders and shoulder blades towards your waist, palms toward the floor, stretch out through your fingertips. And we're going to reach the sitting bones and arm away from each other, stretching into one more twist while we stay. So turn your whole body, rotating, keeping those arms right across from each other as you turn to the front. One hand toward the back of you and the other one toward what needs to be the front. Stretching up, breathing, feel the twist. And keeping the arms at shoulder level, exhale around back to the center. Check that your arms are still shoulder level, shoulder blades down, round high, stretch the spine apart. Exhale and twist, all the way to the other side. Full body turning, hips, ribs, shoulder, head, everything. Not just your neck, not just your arms. Take a breath, lengthen it, breathe into it. Exhale, turn all the way down to the center. Stretch it out, turn your palms up. Inhale, bring them overhead. Exhale, turn the palms out, pivoting forward, dropping over into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees, stretch your spine long, elbows, knees, and back straight. And exhale, bending your knees, coming all the way to the floor into child's pose for our transition. Hips to your heels, hands, palms up, forehead toward the floor. Take a breath or two there. Just let everything stretch. And then inhale, sitting up on your heels and slide off, coming into step position, legs straight out in front of you. Sitting bones behind, ground toward the ceiling. Press out through the bottoms of your feet. So hips and shoulders lined up for active and supporting you. Don't forget to breathe. So we're going to bring one foot into that inner thigh. Keep that other leg straight out in front of you. Take a moment, just getting that knee relaxing. And then bringing your arms out, bring them to shoulder left, turn the palms up, look over your head. As you exhale, you're going to turn to that knee a bit. So turning your whole body again, stretching the spine apart. Bring the hand down, opposite hand to that knee, but, and the one behind you goes to the floor close to your body. 
Stretch up, elbows straight, spine straight, push out through that front foot, exhale. Hips, ribs, shoulder turning a little deeper. So the back of the hand is on the knee and you can leverage with it into the twist if you love a twist. So take a breath, exhale and deepen. Just as much or as little as your body needs. And again, inhale, stretching up, exhale, deepen. And then the next inhalation, bring the arms up and around, over your shoulders, palms out and back down to your sides. Lift the knee and bring the foot back to the foot. Take a moment as you get back into your seated staff position, noticing your spine, all that twist energy coursing through you. And of course, we're going to balance the body to the opposite twist. So bring the other foot into your thigh, sitting bones behind you, everything straight on that front leg, pressing out through the foot, hands to your side. Arms at shoulder level, palms down, turn them up, arms above your shoulders. Stretch, spine apart, and exhale, turning to the side. Bring that front hand to the inner knee, and the back hand close to your body behind you. Stretch from the sitting bones up, exhale. Leverage, if you like, deeper into the twist. So hips, ribs, shoulder, everything is turning. This back hip can come up a little bit off the floor, so you get that whole body turning, not planting that sitting bone too deeply for that lower back. You need the whole body to be twisted. Exhaling deeper, maximizing your twist however much you want. Take a breath. Just relax. Deepen as far as you'd like to go. And then on your next breath in, Inhale, bringing the arms back to shoulder level or toward the ceiling as you turn to the front. Exhale and back to your sides. Lift your knee, bring the leg back out into staff position. And again, feel your spine, all that activation from twisting. Take a moment. Sitting bones behind you a little bit more, maybe. Bend your right knee, pull that in, wrap your arms around, give yourself a good hug, and then keeping the right hand around the knee, bring your left arm out to the front. Again, stretch out through the bottom of your foot, up through the spine, stretch those bones apart so they've got room to twist. Exhale, follow that hand around behind you. Drop it to the floor again, close to your body, pull the knee in with your right arm, and turn your whole body into the chest. Exhaling hips, ribs, shoulder, everything turning, not just your neck. Keep breathing, deepening. Press down into that hand behind you. Just gently lift up through the crown. Exhale, deepen maybe a little further as you pull the front knee in. Breathe, just relaxing in your twist. And then bring the hand behind you back to shoulder level. Follow it all the way around to the center and release the hands and the leg. And again, back in staff position, feel your spine a little more activated. And we need to balance and go the other way. So sitting bones again behind you, stretching up, getting that spine open. Exhale, bend the left leg, put in near your body. So notice that hip <clears throat> comes up a little bit. That's to facilitate your twist. Wrap your arms around for a good hug. Keep that left arm around the knee and the right arm straight out. Shoulder, shoulder blades stay down. Spine stretches apart. Next, we will follow that hand around behind you into the twist. Whole body turning, hips, ribs, and shoulder, as well as your head. Hand on the floor close to your body. Press just gently into the fingers or palm. Stretch up from the sitting bone through the crown. Exhale, deepen your twist as you pull that front knee in. Take a breath. Exhale, and deepen. Go only as far as your body wants. Remember personal practice. Take a breath. Deepen as much or as little as your body needs in this twist. 
Exhale any tightness. And then as you inhale, again, bring the arm up. Follow it back around to the center as you exhale and release into space. Take a moment there, just feeling again through your spine as that twist energy moves through you. And we'll dive our dolphin for our next twist. Everybody's feet up. Sitting bones behind you, right knee bending, knee out to the side, right foot up to that inner left thigh. Bend your left knee, bring that heel in near your hip, not under it. Stretch up, get that whole spine twisting. And then turn your whole body, hip ribbon, shoulder turning toward that right knee. Hands on your leg or the floor, stretch up, and then pull those ribs back, exhaling in the twist over into the forward leg, head down toward your knee. And then inhale, looking forward, raising your chest and face toward the ceiling and the back bend as you come back up. And again, you are paced. Breathing with it, exhaling forward, bending down, and rotating your face up, inhaling, back bending as you come up. And just go through your diving dolphin motion, being the dolphin, breathing with it, enjoying that whole spine look at. <clears throat> and the next time you're at the top, just pause. Exhale and turn back to the center. Release your legs into step. Feel all that twist energy from your dolphin dive. But of course, we've got to let our dolphins go the other way along the shore. So again, sitting bones behind you, spine stretching apart, or active stretching. And bring your left foot to the inner right thigh, knee out toward the side. Press the heel out. Then that right leg, bring the heel in near your hip, wherever it goes, knee out to the front. Again, stretching up from the sitting bone for the crown. This hip comes up as you exhale and twist again toward that left knee. So your whole body is turned, hips, ribs, and shoulders. Exhale, ribs back, chin tucking gently, forehead coming down toward your knee. Inhaling, face to the front, lifting your heart, round to the back as you come up in the back. Bend. And again, just exhaling and diving under, inhaling and leaping up like your playful dolphin along the shore. Exhaling down, inhaling up, feeling that whole spine getting its work out through that range of motion. And again, the next time you come coming up to the top, pause, stretch it apart, exhaling, turning back to the center, releasing your legs, coming back into step. Take a moment, just pausing there, feeling all that twist energy through your spine. But wait, we're not done yet. Bring your feet to the end of the mat, sitting bones behind you, more active, Slowly roll down onto the floor. Bring your sacrum, your ribs, your shoulder blades, your shoulders, everything down. Just take a moment in that reclined integration. Breathe deep. Relax the shoulders down. And bring your arms out to T position, palms up. Sitting bones toward your heels, press the back down. We're going to do our bent knee twist. So bring your right foot to the left side, knee up toward the ceiling. Keep your head on the floor as you roll all the way over to the left side. Knee onto the floor, hands together in front of you, head on the floor. Remember, pad if you need to. Left hand holding your right knee down, right arm up toward the ceiling, right above your shoulder. Look up at it. Keep that palm open toward the ceiling, the arm right at shoulder level. So don't bring it up toward your head or down toward your foot, but straight back and lower it into the twist. So as you do this twist, the knee on the floor, go down, makes it a low back intensive twist. Don't go there if your low back doesn't need it. You can have under the knee. Let the hand come as far as gravity wants to go so that your middle back goes into the appropriate amount of twist. Gravity pulls it when you're ready. 
And turn your head toward that arm behind you. And that gets your neck into the twist if that's appropriate for you. Don't go there if you've got neck issues. Take a breath. Just exhale, let all those spine ligaments release, allowing the twist to deepen as much as it wants to for your body today. Just breathe and relax, let the twist go. And of course, hold these longer on your own, but for now, just let go of that knee, roll onto your back, slide the foot near the other one. And back into T position so we can twist yet to the other side. Sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down, then the right, no, the left leg, foot to the right side. Again, head on the floor as you roll all the way to the right side, hands together and knee down. Hold the knee down, bring that right arm up and look at it, and left arm up, sorry, and follow that left hand behind you into the twist. And again, knee down for the low back. Exhaling tension, letting the ligaments release as gravity brings your arm down and further toward the floor when your body's ready for that middle back twist. And keep your head turning for that neck twist as much or as little as your body needs today. Take a breath. Breathing and relaxing. Just easing into that position as much or as little as you need. Exhaling and relaxing. And when you're ready to release on this side, just let go of the knee, rolling onto your back. Slide the foot near the other one. Hands near your sides, palms up for a final relaxation. Sitting bones toward your heels, just slightly press that back gently down. And roll the toes slightly toward each other. And then let them go, just relaxing into neutral. Move your shoulders around, bring them down onto the surface beneath you. Hands, palms up. And then your shoulders relax down into the floor, into that first support. And exhale. Let your body grow heavy and just sink a little deeper into that surface beneath you. Find your breath, just let it deepen. Exhaling and relaxing, focusing inward. Finding any tightness, just let it go. Releasing and relaxing whatever you're feeling. Just let your body deepen into that earth support. Totally relax and let awareness of your body go. As your body relaxes more and more completely, just allow your awareness to release all thoughts of your body from your mind. As you do, other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them flow in and out as easily as your breath without attention. Focus on the breath flowing in and out, allowing the content of those thoughts to disappear without awareness. It's the job of your mind to bring in those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let it all go as easily as your breath. And as you focus inward, Allow your awareness to release your body and your mind. Find that peace with you. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. So just take a few moments being peace.
And if you have time to keep relaxing even longer today, just take as much time as you have opportunity. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin breathing one, bringing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the moment, to your body, it's your breath. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently to what it feels good for you today. And with each breath, just deepen more into those stretches, giving yourself a good release. When you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, draw those knees up towards your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And after you've had your hug and appreciation, just bring your head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back, preparing for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.